Okay, uh, what we're going to do here is install Zeiss on a Windows 7 system under this Sigwin uh, POSIX environment. The very first thing we're going to do is download the Sigwin installer, which we do from www.sigwin.org. We go to install Sigwin, and this is a 64 bit system, so we'll get the 64-bit setup program. It's a very quick download and when it's done we go ahead and run it. We get to this screen here and it requires that you pick a mirror site. Uh, it's always tricky to figure one out. You should pick one that's close to you. I've had good luck with this one, but that's because it's close to me. Uh, go through the list, find a mirror that works for you, and pick one. As soon as you get to this screen, it's time to start installing all of the packages that, uh, that Zeiss requires. Uh, there's a lot of them, and the you will find the list of them on page 16, 15 and 16 of the Zeiss building guide. Uh, the first one we're going to do, actually the first thing to do, is to cycle this over to the not installed view, which will make it a little easier to find things. We need GCC and we need GCC core, so we clip, click skip there and it changes to a version number. We also need GCC Fortran and GCC G++. Once we have those three selected, we go down to the next one. We also need make and make requires right there. And while we're here, we'll also add CMake Then we'll add LA Pack. LA Pack, we need LA Pack Devel and LA Pack Zero. The building guide says we need LibSuite Sparse Config, so we'll add that. We also need LibUmph Pack. Add libumph pack devel. We also need bison. And flex. We need FFTW three devel and FFTW three. And finally, we need libtool. One thing that's not mentioned in the building guide and which is necessary is M4. So we add M4 right here. Once we're done with this, we should go over to the pending view and look to make sure that everything that we asked for is here. There we've got GCC Core, GCC Fortran, GCC G++, Make, CMake, LA Pack Devel and LA Pack Zero, Lib Suite Sparse Config, Lib Umph Pack, Bison, Flex, FFTW3, Lib FFTW3 Devel and M4. Once we've got all of those things, we click Next. It tells us that there's a godzillion additional packages that need to be downloaded for uh, completeness. We click Next, and it begins to work. This will take quite a while. When it's finished installing everything, we click Finish, 
it creates a desktop icon and we're good to go. This desktop icon is the SIGWIN shell and the SIGWIN shell is where we'll do, be doing all of our work. Okay, so we've got SIGWIN installed, and we have our SIGWIN64 terminal. We're going to open that up and make this a little bigger so we can see. I've already downloaded and unpacked Trilinos source code. So we s go down here into the Trilinos directory, and you can see I have the Trilinos source tarball which I've unpacked using the command tar xzf trilino source dot tar gz. Once I've got that done, the trilino source code is unpacked, and I've created an empty build directory. In this build directory, I've placed a file called reconfigure, which is the file that uh, is listed in the Zeiss building guide. I've customized it so that this TP elder points to the location where I unpacked the Trilino source. This is the name of the Trilino source that I unpacked, and this is where I'm going to install the compiled libraries. I set the flags to minus 03 because that's all that's needed. And then here on these three lines, I've set GCC, G, and G Fortran as the compilers. Down here in the uh, AMD library DIRS and include DIRS, I've pointed these at where SIGWIN has installed the SweetSparse library and the SweetSparse include files. Once we're done here, we save that file and we can just run it and it starts running CMake. This will take uh, a few minutes to run. And when Trulinos reconfigure is done, you'll see these important words, finished configuring Trulinos, build files have been written to that directory. Once it's done, you simply type make in the directory, and it gets working. Trulinos is a very complex and large package and it takes a very long time to build, so I've cut out all of the build process while we're, while we're watching. But at the end, uh, it will say 100% uh, built target Trilinos couplings, and if you've set your uh, archdir correctly in your reconfigure script, simply typing make can, uh, install will take all of the stuff that you just built and bundle it up, dump it into the target directory. And that just takes a very little amount of time. I've called my target directory Zeislibs in my home directory, and you can see it installing all that stuff. Now we're ready to build Zeiss. I've got the Zeiss tarball in my Zeiss directory here. Unpack it. And now you see, uh, I've also created a build directory here. And in this build directory, I've got a reconfigure script. And we'll look at this. The important thing here, uh, we start with the magic incantation to invoke the shell. And then here we point the, uh, the script. We, we, we point to the configure script here. And then we give LD flags pointing to the location of the libraries I just installed. CPP flags pointing to where um, SIGWIN has installed the sweet sparse headers and to where we just installed the Trilinos headers. And then we add the C compiler, C++ compiler, and Fortran compiler. Note that the Zeiss building guide has a mistake here. It has a user local include in this place, and that's that's wrong. Uh, it should be user include sweet sparse. Once we have that, and 
I've I've run the uh, command to uh, add execute permission to this file right over here, chmod u plus x reconfigure. We can just say dot reconfigure, and the um, configuration of Zeiss begins. Uh, this takes a few minutes. Uh, on SIGWIN, it's a lot faster on uh, Linux. very last thing that this does is print out all of these creating makefiles lines and executing live tool commands. Once we get back to a prompt, we can simply type make, and the build of Zeiss begins. This will again take a little while. Zeiss is a large and complex package. And when we're finished, we'll be able to run the regression suite. All right, so Zeiss is finished building, and you'll see here that uh, I've created a script called run the tests and all this is is the run Zeiss regression script invocation that uh, is described in the running the Zeiss regression suite uh, website I've already unpacked the regression suite into a directory and just for convenience created this uh, variable that contains the directory and I can run the test suite just by running run the tests. Uh, it thinks for a minute or so while it tries to figure out what tests to run. And there we go. The tests start running and it's zipping along and we have now built Zeiss successfully on SIGWIN.